Hello, I'm Matt Gell from TheHouse.com, and this is a special guest. This is Josh Tramby. Josh, how you doing today, buddy? Good. Good. I'm uh, having fun. Yeah, today's a good day. We're, we're at the Interstate State Park in Wisconsin doing some trail running. It's something that I'm gradually been getting into a little bit more and more. Um, I'm by no means proficient. I have a terrible cadence, and, I, and I'm really slow. But you have room for improvement. I have a lot of room for improvement. And uh, Josh is on the other end of that, of that spectrum. He's a, he's a trail runner, does a lot of crazy races. And uh, he's kind of just like that overall man of action. He does a lot of, a lot of stuff. And uh, Josh, stoked to, stoked to have you. And uh, definitely stoked to have you like involved in a lot of stuff that we do at the house. Yeah. Super rad. Super rad. Now, for me, besides wearing really sweet ass glasses, What's gonna help me to be a, uh, a decent trail runner? Like I'm starting to get into it. What, what, what's gonna help? So first off would be having the correct gear. Okay. So weather conditions, the shoes, your socks, Yeah. I would say is the biggest. Mm. Um, if you don't have the correct gear or it hurts to run, that's gonna be the first stopping part of not going out and enjoying yeah. the trails or enjoying running. Right. Now, when you say shoes, you said uh, kind of before too, is like shoes are like probably the most important thing for trail yep. running. What makes a trail running shoe versus like a regular road running shoe? So depending on obviously the conditions of the trails, whether you're going to have gravel, right. rocks, right. mud, um, you're going to want to have grip. So yeah. within that shoe, um, some treads are going to be a little bit bigger or other mm. are going to be a little bit smaller. Right. So if you want something um, that's going to be grippier as if you're running in softer terrain, it's mm. going to help with your stride and you're going to be more powerful okay. as you kick off. Yeah. Man, um, but like, how about this? Like, you're wearing a cotton, kind of cotton shirt. I'm yep. wearing a super high tech thing. Why, why, is, why is this going to benefit me compared to like wearing like a cotton sweatshirt or something? Well, you're going to want something that's breathable. Yep. So as you're sweating, um, mm -hmm. you're going to want something that is going to allow that sweat to either evaporate. Sure. As you're sweating, mm -hmm. the sun's beating on it. Right. Um, whether it's colder, so something like in the morning, a long sleeve is going to be a little bit right. better. I'm, as if, I'm actually glad I'm wearing this today because yep. it's kind of chilly here in the shade. It's a little cold. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I mean your gear of what you're wearing and your clothes is a huge thing. So if you're starting off cold, mm. your body is never going to warm up right. to get you into the pace or the speed um, and power that you want to put out on that run. Right, so gear, gear's number one. Yep. Most importantly, the shoes, what else? Your confidence. Okay. So you got to start somewhere. So as you're looking at trails okay. and different places of you know where you're running in the terrain, mm. it's the confidence that each stride and step that you take is always going to be changing within trail running so whether you're running right. up hills you're on sand you're in mud or you're running in rocks mm -hmm. yeah, it's kind of interesting you say that too is like when you said confidence i'm like man it totally makes sense for me because we were just doing this, this little uh i think it's called like river bluff trail and there's like this little ravine section and there's like some really big boulders and even though you know i'm, I'm fairly athletic or probably more athletic than the average person i'd say like I was looking at that course going, okay, how do I nav navigate this? And yeah, starting out small and then gradually working your way up, way up can definitely help. Because I can imagine you can run through some stuff way faster than I can because you've experienced it quite a bit mm -hmm. more too. And you got to start slow and work your right. way up to a faster pace or even to a more technical trail. Right. Now, do you think it's, it's important to have a, a, a fast stride or uh, focus on like your, your mile style pace or is it or is it just kind of navigating through the terrain more? I think more? it's more about navigating through the trail at your own pace. Okay. I think as you speed things up, then you have more room for error okay. um, and foot placement as you could trip or fall over something mm. that's in the trail or not even see it. Mm. I mean, when you're trail running, things are coming up so fast as you're focusing five to 10 feet in front of you. Right. And you might not see that root or stump or that rock right. and being able to adapt if you trip over something. Gosh. Now, what, what do you think the last thing for a novice or beginner trail runner would be? What, what do you Nutrition. Think Nutrition. So, like, what do you mean? Before a run, um, obviously having, um, eating a good breakfast or okay. if it's middle of the day, making sure that you've had your water. Mm. Um, as you're out sweating, you're obviously depleting salt from your body. Right. So at the end of a long run, you don't want to obviously cramp up or you want to have mm. your gel or your salt tablets and things like that. Okay. And just staying hydrated. Um, yeah. You can't do anything without energy. So that's right. you wake up in the morning, you drink your coffee, you have your breakfast, that starts your day. Yep. So it's just like a run. Mm. 
Now, uh, what's your kind of like go-to breakfast meal before you go on a, on a run? I have uh, what'd eggs, you have today? Eggs, a turkey too. sausage, and a banana. All right, that's good. Uh, then, how about like in the run? Do you prefer g- gels over like a power bar or something? Or yep. What? So in the middle of a run, um, I'll do a few gels depending okay. on distance. Yep. Um, so if it's like a 15 mile, I'll have a gel about halfway through. Okay. Um, and then post-op, obviously, that's when you have your protein, mm-hmm. water, um, right. and depending, um, a banana and something like that. Right. What's your, what's your go-to protein uh, source? Uh, I use a plant-based. Okay. Um, and it, I want to say it's synthesis, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. For me, it's getting in the protein. Mm. Mm. No, so what, what kind of helped you, like, kind of stay in trail running the most? You know, like... It's fun, you know, just kind of going out on the trails and enjoying it. It's, uh, the, the train is constantly changing. Yep. Uh, it's just nice being outside in nature, but what is, what is something that really has uh, kept you into trail running? I think the evolution of where you start and depending on where you want to go is that there's always more terrain out there. Mm. So whether you yeah. want to be climbing mountains, you want to be on top of a peak and mm-hmm. kind of whittling through mm-hmm. switchbacks. It's there's always more out there, and it's just another way to be able to experience the outdoors and get off the paved trail. Yeah, and just enjoy it, whether it's by yourself or with friends. Yeah, and it doesn't always have to be running. You can walk mm-hmm. segments. You can run back and forth, doing splits, and mm-hmm. kind of just have fun with it. Yeah, that is kind of cool. And I think that's probably what's going to draw me a little bit more into it. It's going to be, you know the very terrain you can just change it up it's not just like a constant flat road yep right well, awesome join me again i'm stoked that you're out here like kind of running yes. us through stuff it's been um, a fun day yeah man uh make sure to leave any comments or questions uh for josh and we'll get to those to him as soon as we can um, this is gonna be a fun little adventure throughout the summer we've got quite a few little video and photo shoots from trail running, skate, bike, and a little bit of wake too. So you're gonna see uh, the kind of progression of everyone that's involved from Jendi and Siddons and Stank. Trammy's gonna be jumping in to a lot of them too. So stay tuned for that stuff. Subscribe to the channel over there. Check out more vids there and hopefully we'll see you guys around. Peace.